Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, December 3rd. It's the first week in Advent and week one in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 4, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 1 through 10. And join me now in singing the third verse of Savior of the Nations, Come. Thus on earth the word appears, Gracing his created spheres, Hence to death and hell descends, Then the heavenly throne ascends. Our help is in the name of God Most High, The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we've sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, hear me when I call, O oh God of righteousness. Alleluia. Psalm 4, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, hear me when I call, O God of righteousness. You freed me when I was in distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. O mortal children, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek false gods? But know that God has set apart the godly. When I call, God will hear. Stand in awe and do not sin. Ponder upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in God. Many say, who will show us any good? O God, bestow the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine increased. And I will lay down in peace and sleep, for only you, my God, make me dwell in safety. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, hear me when I call, O God of righteousness. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We always give thanks to God for all of you and mention you in our prayers constantly, remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you, because our message of the gospel came to you not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction. Just as you know what kind of persons we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for in spite of persecution, you received the word with joy, inspired by the Holy Spirit so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and Acacia. For the word of the Lord has sounded forth from you not only in Macedonia and Acacia, but in every place your faith in God has become known, so that we have no need to speak about it. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve a living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. 
Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O righteous God, hear our prayer and have mercy upon us. Free us from all distress and grant us your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.